Okay, so a couple things I want to talk about. What I like is your setup in general is pretty good as far as spine angle, uh, club face is square behind the ball, ball and club are in the center of your stance. Uh, could be a little more on the balls of your feet. You did tend to sit back on your heels a wee bit. But the most important thing is that right hand and arm of yours was, was positioned over so you could see a couple knuckles when you look down. The right hand needs to be underneath the golf club. So consequently that right arm tucks closer to your body. So we kind of narrow that daylight in, right? See how that? And you should be able to see part of your left forearm if you look at yourself in the mirror down the line if you're standing there, right? So we're going to square the shoulders up and get the right hand in a more complementary position and lighter pressure, not as rigid. Other than that, your setup is pretty good, but that's the biggest culprit. As you take the club away from the ball, as the club goes back, fairly direct initially, and then you get to about there and you get kind of stuck. And look, now the club gets kind of fanned open. Yeah, exactly. So you fan it open, look how flat it gets. Yeah, because that's the only way you can take it back, open it, and then take it to the top. And then you got to throw the club from there over the top of your body. And the club comes down. Look, you're going to flick it. Now your wrist closed. And this one you closed in time better. But when you close the club earlier, that's when you can pull it, obviously, right? So if we can take the club back with your shoulders, A, do the better balance to begin with in your setup, and that right hand staying soft and in a better position, the club can go back <coughs> to the top of your backswing with your shoulder turn, and your wrists don't end up coming off the golf club with that bottom hand, and then you can swing out and up more consistently and get rid of that pull. Okay, and that would apply to